code from three CSS selectors by element, ID, and class. So let's get started by loading up CodePen. Now, after you've loaded it up, let's begin. So first we'll add a P tag or a paragraph tag, just like this. All right, after we've got that, we'll put something, we'll put a paragraph in the middle of the P tags. So we'll put Apple, there we go. Now let's make five of these P tags so I can show you how to use elements, IDs, and class. Um, so control C, one, two, three, Four and five. Alright, there we go. Now let's name let's name this one as Kiwi and the last two as orange. Alright, there we go. After we've got that, let's let's go to the CSS and begin. So we'll put P as the element selector, so it selects all the elements, so the paragraph, all of these, alright, and then we'll put the curly brace and say color colon, we'll put red, and then just like that, we've got our red. Now, let's say we want to make the key V. Um, we have to make the key V green. Then we'll have to put an ID onto this. So we'll go ID equals, and then we'll go fruit dash key V, and there we go. Now we'll go just control C this so it's quicker. We'll go hashtag so when 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 you've got a uh, id and when you're representing an id you have to use hashtag because uh, the p is for all of the elements but we have one unique um thing we want to make in the color green so we'll use hashtag and then we'll go control v so fruit kiwi and then we'll put curly braces and write color colon green whoops there. there we go now we've got this it's green now let's say we have to make these two orange so we can't use another id because the id can only be used for one unique code so we have to use a class selector so we'll go class equals double tags fruit dash orange and then let's put this over here control c and we'll put so when when we've got when we want to make two of the same things the same color we have to use class selector so to represent a class selector we have to use a, a dot so we'll use that and then we'll put this, there we go. Now we'll put the curly braces and write color colon orange. And there we go. But then we have to put this as also the same thing. So here and Boom. All done. And there you have it guys. We've we've selected all of the IDs and separated it into elements, IDs and classes. So here's the classes and here's the here's a ID and here's the elements. Alright, thank you guys. Please subscribe and like if you like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time.